What is up guys? Welcome to a quick update video and preview for STEM Day on 2022. If you haven't heard, STEM Day is going to be May 17th this year. We're going to host the 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade students at West Up High School. We're going to do a day or at least a morning packed full of science for the elementary school students. Now the interesting thing that's going to happen here is that on the afternoon, the second half of the portion, any of the professional contacts that are there, uh, be it uh, work, workspace partners or it could be collegiate partners or collegiate affiliates, who will be interested in talking with high schools and networking with them there, they have the opportunity to do so. So not only is it a fun day in the morning for the elementary school students, but the second half of the day, the high schoolers who have been helping out so far would have an opportunity to talk with whoever is there. So, so far we've got a couple of collegiate affiliates and some immediate workforce uh, representatives as well. If you want to be interested in what STEM Day is, stick around. We have this video written by play here really soon uh, that was created by Westell students to showcase what last year's STEM Day looked like and to give you a little bit insight of what we got going on for this year. Stick around. We have a plenty, plenty of little preview things to show you uh, and enjoy. <laughs> Last year for STEM Day, I helped build a block it's that was eventually shot up in the sky. And it was really fun. So we used different carbon materials to put together like two liter bottles. Hi, my name is Katie Fraser, and I did STEM Day last year. I work at the Olympics by King Robots, and I showed the fifth graders what they would be doing project with. All right, now I know in that second clip, uh, it seems like the students weren't doing anything and that was my fault. I had not put a appropriate frame of the time lapse of them building this keyboard right here. It was a PVC keyboard. The students had to calculate the pipe lengths uh, to hit certain note frequencies within a two and a half octave range. In any case, they were working. It's just my fault on the shot there. In any case, this is another thing we're doing for STEM Day that we haven't been able to do before. So again, thank you out to Indiana Mac for uh, providing some grant funds to us to do these really, really cool large-scale projects. Some other things that the students have been working on uh, has been including a large-scale trebuchet, which I'll throw in right here, and a large pulley machine, which I'll throw in right here. Uh, and it was a wonderful display. We just tested it last week and we got a kindergarten student to lift a 10th grader off of the ground. Wonderful, 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 and a huge thank you again one more time to Mac providing this. If you're seeing this video and you'd like to be a helpful part of STEM Day or at least be some sort of professional contact within my classroom, I would love to have you. I teach all kinds of sciences and I have all kinds of needs within inside and outside of the classroom to let these students really, really do some amazing projects. One of them being, and they just did, and I'm going to showcase this just to brag on them, is this phone. Now, the students recreated a phone, a 1950s style phone, that was able to ring and be able to use as a prop phone for a play we have coming up at the drama for the drum from the drama club called Zombie Prom. And I have this clip at the end that's going to show you a working and final prototype that these students made. The crazy part, the majority of my students are freshmen. 
that is astounding. I'm really, really excited to see what we have in store. Again, if you're interested in being a partner or at least want to reach out or at least in some capacity, talk to my students about the opportunities in front of them. I would love to potentially have you either in my class or at least zoom in for a conversation. At any point, you guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. 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 B